Hey guys, I'm Fellow Blanks. Welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man X2. We've only got three Mavericks left. Uh, we still have two of the X Hunters still there. Uh, we're still not going to be fighting them. This will be the last two levels that we're going to have to fight them because they're just uh, boxed up in, in uh, Crystal Snails level and, and Overdrive Ostrich level. So we are taking on Magna Centipede. I love Magna Centipede. Uh, Magna Centipede is my favorite um, Maverick in, in uh, Mega Man X2. I wouldn't say he's my favorite Magnet. Uh, magnet, wow. Uh, Maverick in total. Also, by the way, you recognize this place? It's where all the story's been happening with the X-Hunter, looking at their little orb thing, f trying to see you. Uh, ah, shit. <laughs> Stupid guy. Uh, yeah, so Magnus Centipede. Magnus Centipede's my favorite guy in, uh, in this game. I think he's just really cool. It's like very ninja-y. He's very cool. Um, let's try to not get hit by any spotlights here. See the spotlights there. I want to just avoid those. Careful. Careful. Ah, shit. Oh, well. If you're playing the uh, X Legacy Collection, there is an achievement for going through Magna Centipede's level without getting hit by any spotlights, but uh, clearly I've screwed that up. <laughs> there are also a couple uh, things you can get that are, like, hidden in the ceiling in this level. I'm going to wait a little bit. I'd rather get my um, arm upgrade, and then I can use um, Scorch Wheel or whatever the hell it's called. Um, Flame Stag's weapon, which gives me the ability to, like, do a, a, a new, um, kind of air dive. You'll see what it is. Ah! Jeez. I thought that was gonna crush me. <laughs> that scared me. Like, honestly. Um, ah, shit! <laughs> Come on, that didn't even hit me! That, like, hit my friggin' toe. Mega Man, or X can still save the world without a toe, can he? Well, whatever. Um, yeah, so I, I like Magna Centipede, but... I do not like centipedes in real life. They scare me. <laughs> they are gross. I don't like bugs in real life. Um, actually, bugs don't, don't, they're not too, too bad. It, it's specifically like spiders I don't like only because just the friggin' webs, like just out of nowhere. I could be walking in an open field where there could possibly be no web in the air and I'll still like walk directly into one. Um, I don't like centipedes. It's too many legs. Ugh, I don't know. I don't like earwigs, but I don't, I don't think anyone likes earwigs and they make a just disgusting crunch when you kill them. Ugh. 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 My ex-girlfriend. Ugh, okay. <laughs> My ex-girlfriend used to live, uh, like, when we were we were dating, we were still in high school. And so she lives with her parents still. And she pretty much pretty much just lived in the basement. Like, that, she, like, her room was in the basement. And the basement living room, like, that's, that's, like, she had a basically her own den. And that's where we'd hang out and stuff like that. But, like, it was, like, like, oh, it wasn't super well taken care of. And uh, you'd find earwigs a lot, and just oh, they were so gross. And I remember once, I forget what we were doing. We were like fixing something on our window. Oh yeah, here's more wireframe action. Um, what what works really well on this guy? I hate seeing enemies that don't have like like mini bosses that don't have life bars. So I have no idea if something's doing really good or not. So mobile splash isn't doing super great. I should probably try something else. Eh. So I silk shot out. Oh, now he's dead. See, I don't know if it's because silk, silk shot is so good or he had little life. Uh, anyways, we were fixing like um, uh, one of our window sills or something. We pulled off the 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 wood that's like at the bottom of the window sill, and it's like so many earwigs. Oh, I just I can still picture it too. It's the grossest thing. About my my relationship with her. Everything else was fine. <laughs> You know, relationship fell apart. That's okay. Earwigs? Shit, no. So, yeah, there's the hidden path. Uh, it'll get blocked if I, if you don't get past those weird blobs that create a floor. Also, that cursor that comes in and tries to find you, that, like, targeting reticle, it will get you. It doesn't hurt you, but this guy here, um, if you get hit by it a bunch of times, like the reticle, it'll, like, it looks like it uploads its stuff into this guy. And I, I can't say for sure, because I'm not 100% certain, but, um... If you don't get it by the reticles, he's just this green guy who has only two uh, two uh, attacks. This this fireball and these lasers here. And I'm pretty sure the more uh, the reticle hits you and like scans you, I think the more things this guy is able to do. I'm not 100% sure on that. There's a few things in this game, despite the fact that it's my favorite Mega Man X game. There's a few things that I'm not sure. I just never tested them out when I was a kid. When I was a kid, I was just like, huh, it seems like that. that's what this guy does. But I never sat down and tested it. And I never really looked it up. Um, here the you're gonna be seen uh, and this alarm's gonna go out. Cool. But um this always happens. There's no way to avoid this, so there we go. So that was Magna Centipede's level, very different. Sorry about that gross story, by the way. <laughs> 
<laughs> Sorry. So Soak Shot, as you can see, kind of splits into four. We're going to use that to our advantage for, for Mana Centipede here. Um, one of the benefits of using his weakness, too, is that it blows up his, like, tail, I guess? Bam. Now there's a few things he can't do. Now he'll just teleport around and he'll use shurikens. Um, what he can do with the tail is he, he, he can, like, it can come apart into pieces and they'll, like, swarm around you and they'll, like, slowly, like, uh, like, circle around you and then they'll suddenly stop and then, like, hit you. So I think, I th I at least I, I at least I remember it being this because it's been so long since I fought this guy without his weakness. Um, but I think they, like, stop and you have one area where you can, like, jump out of and you got to time your, your way out when they've all stopped before they, like, converge in the center really quickly. So, yeah, this is Magus Centipede. He's, he's fairly easy, even though I'm doing actually really badly. Um, I'm not aiming. I'm not aiming my uh, my shots correctly. There. Oh, damn. Well, he still hits me. Standing in the center is pretty good. You can also, like, bounce off uh, the Silk Shot off the wall so it hits them. But, I mean, I'd rather just not move right now. Take it easy. I'm, I'm getting hit a lot, so... Just take it easy, Phil. Take it easy. Three more hits ish. Two more hits ish. Oh, I should try for the Nova Strike thing. Come here. There we go. Okay, I'll switch to Nova. Yeah, let's use this. Giga Crush, not Nova. Sorry, Giga Crush. So it appears, I'll go. Shitty teleported, freak. Ah, damn it. I forgot. I didn't think that would stun him, because if you hit him normally, it doesn't stun him and he doesn't teleport, but I guess the Giga Crush is powerful enough to stun him. Ah, uh, well, I'll do that another time. Damn it. That sucks. Because, yeah, like I said, the Giga Crush uh, only does one point of damage, but it does it continuously. Uh, but because bosses, they take multiple, like, they have invincibility time, so you gotta have to do it. Like, I guess I'll have to do it when they only have one hit left. But I thought it was, like, it would stay on screen long enough that he'd get hit by it, but I forgot that it would teleport, so that was, that was stupid on my part. Whatever. Um, Alright, so we got Crystal Snail next. And who is it gonna be? All right, it's Sergis in Crystal Snail's level. So pretty cool. Let's, uh, you know, I love the, the look of his level too. It's also really, really cool music. Crystal Snail's really cool. I like him a lot. It's weird because like a snail you'd think would be like a really dumb one. Um, the crab would be a really dumb one, but they're like centipede would be weirdly bad. But there's a lot of cool ones in here and there's a lot more insects than like crustacean uh, than in Mega Man X1, which basically just used just regular stuff. I guess Boomer Kowanger was the closest thing to like a, a um, like a, uh, an insect. So here we go. We've got the right on armor. We're gonna jump, uh, jump. Ah, oh, shit. That was super close though. I should have used friggin' ah, uh, damn. I'm stupid. Um, oh, what is it called? Wire sponges thing. The chain. Strike chain. Yeah, that was really dumb of me. Oh well, whatever. Wee woo. There we go. All right, get strike chain going. Uh, jump. Oh, nice. That was really good. That is probably like the um, <laughs> the craziest heart tank in the game. Well, no, actually, I, I'd say the one in overdrive ostr ostriches is probably crazier. Um, it's pretty nuts. So we're we're close to full life. I think we've only missed like maybe two heart tanks. I think. Yeah, because we didn't get the one in morph, morph moth. We obviously didn't get the one over overdrive ostrich. Um, these. Things can be destroyed with that. Unfortunately, my mech is stuck there. Watch out for this guy. And here's the secret thing, the secret um, uh, chamber. Use your spin cut. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. How does that not work? Uh, maybe I have to melt it. No. Oh, crap. I need um, I need the mech, don't I? Shit. Maybe there's a mech further in, because I can't bring the mech from there. Yeah, all this stuff can be broken by the mech. How do I find another mech, though? I've gone too far. I can't go back, can I? No, shit. Okay, yeah, no, I, I was supposed to find it. Figure out a way to bring my mech. Um, ah, crap. <laughs> I love how this is happening again on, on level where I need to fight the X hunter or else he leaves. It's like, because I can't leave. Um, whatever. I'm just gonna... This probably... Okay, I, I know where I am in the level. There's gonna be a big hole. Here, I'm just gonna kill myself and get a game over. But before I do that, I'm gonna show you something. I so I can get crushed by this ice block, but I won't. Actually, yeah. <laughs> That's just fun to do. Uh, no, there's not an upcoming hole. I'll do that first. I just want to see where that. Yeah, it's just gonna bring me here. So I maybe. Ah, oh, shit! I could get kill, got killed by that crystal weapon that I was fighting. Oh, down here. Before I kill myself and plunge myself off a cliff. 
and go in here and find our second piece of the um, of the suit. This is probably going to be the first one that you find because it's kind of it's kind of in an obvious area. Mega Man X, enter the capsule. Actually, I I just go by X now. This enhancement will modify your radar optics. Woo, that's pretty cool. It uses some energy, but with it, you will be able to see objects that you could not see before. This is pretty cool. I like this a lot. Oh, good luck, man. Th yeah, thanks. It's X, Dad. Um, the helmet's got to be the weirdest one, like, for them to think of, like, abilities for. Because the first one was, like, you could head button to things, and that was really stupid. Uh, this is, I like this. It's, it, it's, a, it's its own little, like, weapon energy bar and whatnot. And I'm not going to get that because it's a one-up. But using it throughout the stage will allow you to see where um, secrets are. And that's how you're supposed to be able to find um, the, uh, the, 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 ar the the chest armor. Is you're supposed to use that. And uh, I guess I could have just got crushed. But whatever, I'm going to fall. Uh, so you, you kind of go around the level using it. It's a little frustrating because you're using it a bunch. Man X3 actually has the best idea for this kind of thing, it, it uses the same idea. Oh, please don't go away. Okay, good. Oh, I'm gonna be fighting Violin. Okay, cool. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, X3 had the best idea for for a helmet that de uh, like uh, detects things. You'll, you'll see that when I play Man X3. But from now on, um, or, or from then on, uh, Man X4 has like different pieces of your armor. But X5 and X6, they do a thing where you actually have to find. Yeah, see, like nothing going around. I guess I could just follow this. So gonna go down there. No, it didn't. I guess you have to find that one yourself. Um, Mega Man X5 and X6 do this thing where you can't wear your armor until you find all of it. All right, so how do I do this? Oh, shit. It's just going to crush it, isn't it? Oh, God. I'm so stupid. There we go. Yeah, um, X5 and X6, sorry. You have to find all four pieces of the armor before you can actually wear the armor. And I don't like that. I mean, it makes sense because there's actually multiple armors in X5 and X6. But I don't know. I really like being able to just find it. I guess. Uh, find them and use them right away. It was fun. Because when you get the um, the armor in X5 and X6, like, each piece isn't its own thing. It's it's hard to explain, basically, but they, they make it so that, like, not every part of it has anything to do with anything, I guess. And it just makes the armor kind of not as fun. Sure, it increases your defense and does a bunch of other things, but it's not like, you know, the legs specifically do this, and the... And the armor does specifically this, and the helmet does specifically this. It's just, no, you got the armor, the full armor piece set, and now this is what it does. Anyways, up here, it's kind of a weird, like, Metroid-style thing. I'm gonna fight the easiest of the X-Hunters, especially because I have his weakness, and that's Bubble Splash. Bubble Splash is hilarious against this guy, man. <laughs> oh, Violin. Um, X, I shall crush you like a tin can. Thank you for using my name. My name is X, it is not Mega Man. I do appreciate that. I'm now gonna splash you with bubbles. Splash him all over his face. He'll still hit you, obviously, but I mean, I'm going to be doing more damage to him than he does to me. Watch out when he jumps. He's going to do this thing. And, ah, oh, shit, missed. Whatever. He just kind of does that the entire time. That's his only thing. He's not super hard. Like, at all. And the bubble splash just makes such good short work of him. Bam, dead. He, like, chugs a little bit. It cannot be. Now the unification is in jeopardy. The unification. What could they be talking about? What could these three guys that each have pieces of zero mean when they talk about the unification? I don't know. I'm not very bright, though, to be honest. Careful down here. Hang left, hang left. You can't uh, wall jump off those icy icy um, walls, which is a good idea. I think that's... Ah, down the hole I go. That's a good idea. There's not a lot of, like, areas like that. To be honest, that was pretty much it. But... Here we go, we're gonna fight this guy. No, I just cut it back to where I was, but whatever, we're like so close already. I love just using um, Will Gator's weapon. I just love it, just like ching, ching, ching. I know you can just leave it on the ground and let it go in the crystal, but there's something about like embedding it into the crystal that I really, really enjoy doing. Love that. Very cool. Can drop something? Nope, nothing good. Let's see if I can get that. Uh, nope, missed that. Oh, well, whatever. So now we can continue to and beat this level. Watch out for bats, 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 bats. And this is another room that's kind of wonky and weird looking. Oh, what is it? It seems to have no use. It does. I mean, it does right here. Um, it can protect you against this block up here. Um, but it's also another one like in Bubble Crab's level, the last level, where um, it was kind of this weird room that was open for no reason. But we will see what that that's supposed to be uh, later on. I'm going to need uh, the uh, arm cannon upgrade, though, before I can do that. And we'll be doing that, actually, probably next episode. We'll have enough 
time to finish uh, both Crystal Snail and Overdrive Ostrich in this episode. And then we'll actually do the cleanup. The cleanup's always my favorite in a Mega Man game. It's actually my favorite in a lot of games, but there's something about Mega Man X, where it's just like going in the back to where you've been, but now you're upgraded and cool and stuff. All right, get your uh, Magnet Mines. I think it was Magnet Mines. I wasn't paying attention when I beat Magnet Centipede, but whatever. Uh, so these things can be controlled up and down. Uh, they, they go in a forward trajectory, but you can control them. Uh, and that's pretty cool. So Crystal Snail is the most powerful when he's with his shell. He can, like, fly around it. He can stop time. Or not stop time, sorry. He can slow down time. And we do not like that. So let's get him out of that by shooting him. And I can't believe I missed. Oh, I forgot he could freeze me, too. You can't attack his shell. You have to attack, like, him. And that bursts him out of the shell. And now he's super fast. I think that's an interesting idea. We want to keep him out of his shell. Ah, shit. Oh, well, not really a big deal. Yeah, he's going to slow down time. Whatever. Ah, shit. I'm so bad at this. I keep trying to hit him in the head, but I should be just attacking him straight forward on. Watch out. There we go. Nice. Should be going back. There we go. Back to normal. Wow, I'm doing really bad. I mean, I'm still hitting him. I'm still killing him. That's what matters. Come on. Ah, frick. Take that. Damn you. Damn you. There we go. Oh, he's on one hit left. I'm going to use the note. Ah, damn it. I forgot the wall hit counts as the hit. Oh, well. Man, I'm doing really bad with the whole Nova thing. Oh, not a big deal. That was Crystal Snail. He's a really cool. I actually like him a lot. Plus, his level is just really interesting. I like crystalline caves and stuff like that. They're always super fun. Because it's, to me, a lot funner than an ice level. I think this, this game does a lot better with the whole, like... There's not as many elements. I mean, you have... Like flame stag, because there's always like a fire guy. But I like the idea that there's not just like a lightning guy, and there's not just a. I mean, there's a water guy, I guess. There's not an ice guy. It's crystal snail instead. I just I like that. I think that's really cool. Like like morph moth. What an interesting idea. Anyways, desert based stage overdrive ostrich. Let's get in there. We'll fight Sergi, who I think is the hardest of the um, of the three X hunters. We got he's such a, he's such a cool design an ostrich. You know what I mean? I don't know. I like that stuff. Super, super interesting. We're ready. We are ready. Yeah, I think this um, this game of all the X games does a good job. I mean, not all of the X games does a good job of um, doing enemies like the new the, the Mavericks with like cool ideas. Like you have a plant, you have a bunch of um, insects. Uh, and here's by the way, here's the secret chamber already. So if you're having trouble with someone, hopefully it's on over to our boss, so you don't have to redo the whole stage. Um, get charged up. I don't have his um, weakness, which is Overdrive Ostrich's weapon, but whatever. All right. He's got no arms. Poor guy. I am Sergius, and I cannot allow you to stop the unification. Uh, by the way, have you seen my arms? <laughs> it ought to. I did not see what he was going to say. Uh, so he has like a little barrier you can kind of see. No, there's his arms. And he flies around and it's hilarious looking when he does that. Uh, but he's frustrating. He leaves mines too. Uh, charge shot can take out the mines. It can be a regular charge shot or just like a uh, like a super charge shot or a green charge shot. Doesn't matter. Um, you're gonna get hit in this fight a lot. Like his platform spiked. Oh, he's he's just super frustrating. Yeah, damn you. There we go. And just take out mines when you can. Like that's not that one's not too bad. It's just right in the there the, in the center. You want to take that one out as soon as you can. Uh, let's try to use um, my giga attack on him. I don't know if I, if that counts. I don't know if the achievement specifically says it has to be um, a, a a maverick or let's just do this. Let's see what happens. And kaboom! <laughs> oh, it doesn't look like it counted. Uh, you have merely delayed, comma the inevitable. We will meet again. Why is there a comma there? That bothers me. <laughs> to be really honest, I'm a little bit of a. A grammar Nazi? A little bit. Not not crazy, but like when I write and stuff, I want it to be correct. Um, so it bothers me when a professional, like, translator gets things like that wrong. Like, come on. You're getting paid to do this, and it's it's the most basic of English phrases and stuff. Anyways, we have all of Zero's parts. What does that mean? Well, we won't find out this episode. We probably won't find out next episode either, so we won't find out to the very end what that means. Um, but yay! Well, oh, shit. <laughs> I forgot to blow this bridge down. Oh, whatever. I'm actually kind of curious just to see what this, what's up in this ledge here. Because, like, there's clearly something. You would think that would that be where, like, the boss chamber would lead out, but nope. Nothing. Another weird room. 
Just like the one in Crystal Snails level and in um, Bubble Crab's level. We'll find out that out later. Let's get my bike back. I don't know if I'm able to cross the spikes, though. Now that I think about it. Shit, I'm going to need to get hit. Ah, come back. Come on, I need to get hit. There we go. Bam. Now run! There we go. Cool. So this is the bike you had in the opening. I like this a lot. It's the only level where you get it in, though, but it's pretty cool. Later X Games would actually have, like, vehicle segments. Like, full-on, you cannot leave the vehicle, you cannot explore. They're not always super fun. X-Force was okay. Oh, God, I'll blow this up. Boom. And I want to set up a bridge for later. First, I want to get some life. Um, but yeah, Mega Man X4 did it with Jet Stingray, which was okay. Um, then X5, I believe, did it. And X X6 did it, too. They are not as fun. You get... A it's like, come on, we don't need vehicle segments. Give a pl it's a platforming game. And then, like, Mega Man 8 did it as well. Like, a lot, actually, with the... Well, not vehicle segments. Ah, shit. Didn't make it. I don't know why I sometimes make it, sometimes don't up there. But you want to want to take... Gotta want to take uh, one of the bikes up there. But, uh... Yeah, I, I don't know what was with 8. With, like, there's a literal rush section, which was not that fun. Then there was a rush boss that was not that fun. And there's the jump slide shit, and the less we say about that, the better. Ah, oh, there we go. Perfect. So you're going to want to go fast here, so you can make it through there. And get here. Watch out. Oh. So what you're going to want to do is collect the heart tank while you're turning, or else you're going to smash into the spikes. If you have extra lives, it's really not a big deal to just smash into it. Ah, I'm going to die. Ah. Oh, I made it. Woo. All right. And then uh, last thing is right here. Boom. Get out your wheel weapon thingy. And you need, it's crazy, you need the wheel for both of them. Both uh, the armor and the, these guys, this is the, um, the boots. Uh, this enhancement will modify your main drive unit, which means your legs. <laughs> With it, you will be able to dance. Dance like no one's watching. Anyways, yeah, now I can dash in the air. And uh, that's pretty cool, actually. I mean, there's only so much you can do with the, the feet, I guess. I mean, you can make it so that you could like, be impervious to spikes or something. But we've already got the dash from X1, so what is better than this? It's uh, a dash in the air. You only dash sideways, can't dash up. You'll be able to do that in X3, though. You also can't dash and then dash again. Like, dash, jump while dashing. Like, do a dash jump and then dash in the air. It's one or the other. Um, it's not the most useful things. It's more of like a, a defense mechanism. You can just kind of... You can just... Uh, it's a good way to get out of precarious situations. Anyways, if you've always thought my, my button mashing was always good now, check this stuff out. Look, check out my button mash. Ah! No, nah, it's not me. I'm just joking. <laughs> this whole part's scripted. I find it weird. Like, I, I find it really weird that Overdrive Hostage's, like, boss screen transition is a gigantic rocket that you blow up. I think the reason why is because this whole area in Overdrive Hostage's boss chamber is completely open. It's infinite left or right, no matter where you go. Or at least very, very wide. I don't know if it's infinite. But um, it, it, it's a big, big area. And I think the only way they could do a big area like this was if, instead of having you walk into the chamber, they have you fall into it. And I don't know why they made it a big rocket or anything like that, but whatever. It was Overdrive Hostage is fairly easy. If he ever gets off the screen, like he dashes at you or you run away from him, he'll appear in the background just like he did in his, his boss animation. Oh shit, my episode's going really long. Oh crap. <laughs> well, let's finish this off then. Uh, probably because I had to kill myself in, in Crystal Snail's thing. Anyways, um, he, he'll he'll disappear into the background, and then he'll like appear. He'll jump towards you and he'll try to land on you. I don't have nearly enough Nova stuff or Giga stuff, so I'm just gonna kill him. Come on. Ba oh shit! Bam! There we go. This was a long episode. Sorry about that, guys. I mean, you guys are probably okay with that. I I know you guys don't mind certain longer episodes as long as it's not too long. I find 20 minutes is really that sweet spot though. Um, I tried a half hour at one point way back when I did Link, Link to the Past, and boy, did it not work out. Um, <laughs> yeah, I was falling asleep while editing some of those, um, and then I actually had ended up cutting them into smaller episodes and like putting the whole "Hey, I'm filling the blanks" and taking that like sound clip and putting it at the end or beginning of a thing just to make it two episodes. That's how long episodes were. Going. Oh, it's Doctor Gain. If you like Fender Keys, Mega Man X, I've located my keys! <laughs> Not the X on two space. That went, went really well. Uh, it's at grid location. Ooh, that's right at the North Pole. Visit Santa for me and ask him for new keys. Roger, Dr. Kane. My name's not Roger. Yeah, well, my name's not Mega Man. You keep calling me that, so. It will take some more time to reactivate Zero. Yeah, now that we have the parts, we can reactivate Zeros. Why is his mouth just staying open? 
Slow it up down, Mega Man X. Ah, uh, <laughs> that's really weird. Anyways, guys, um, that is it uh, for all the Mavericks. We're going to do some cleanup next episode. I'm filling the blanks. And next time, we will go up to the X-Hunters base, which is up in the North Pole. Take care, guys.